Sagittarius to your mid-month reading for April. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. If I find Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. And Sagittarius. Knight of Cups. Ooh, proposal. Some kind of opportunity is arising for you, whether it's a proposal for love or a job or, you know, take it how it resonates, but you do definitely have a proposal coming in um, for some kind of opportunity. Um, clarifying the Knight of Cups. This card's not only going to clarify on the Knight of Cups, but the entire reading. And this proposal could be coming in for, from a Scorpio. It's not a Scorpio, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. It doesn't have to be, but that isn't a Scorpio card. Having the desire and the want. The card of I want, the sacral chakra. So it could be saying, I want this opportunity. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. I want this to come in, or it is coming in. Okay, so clarifying on the situation. Situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, or the near future. You may want this Scorpio to come towards you or this job opportunity, which the boss could be a Scorpio. Five of Swords in the present. Recent past is the Four of Swords. And in the near future is the Two of Pentacles. So it is something that you've been fighting for, but it does feel like you can go ahead and put your swords down. Um, we'll figure out why in just a minute. But with the Four of Swords over here, patiently resting from the Page of Cups. You definitely could know this person. For a lot of you, this is a love relationship, and you're waiting for them to offer you cups, a reconciliation. Maybe you want them to come back and apologize. Um, with the Page of Cups, it's like, um, hmm, let's clarify on that first. You wanted them to recognize you, and instead they didn't. They caused confusion instead. That's why you're resting. You want to be rest assured, but you also have the understanding, you know, that this is what's going on over here. With the Page of Cups over here, it's, huh, you know, it's that... They're, why are they distracted? Did they just get distracted and couldn't give you any recognition? What distracted them? Were they in a third party situation? Do they work too much with the three of coins? So it does feel like there is some kind of um, inclination that's going on within the relationship and the relationship is kind of backsliding because they are ignoring you. Um, and it does feel like they're giving more attention somewhere else. Could be work, it could be anywhere. Um, but you're resting easy over here trying to not let them confuse you, but I'm sorry, you're confused, <laughs> right? So it's almost like I'm, I'm trying to meditate. I'm trying to rest. I'm trying to understand, but no matter what, they're confusing me. Why they have you stuck because you don't know if they're coming towards you or if they're not going to come towards you. Um, they could be teasing you. Kind of feels like teasing for some, you know, for someone out there, it feels like they're kind of a tease. Are they teasing you? Okay, so with the five of swords, it's almost like you want this to do this and it feels like you're, you're fighting with this person. They're always trying to take away your power. They're trying to take away your sword. Um, you're always walking away, but you really want this person to come towards you. Um, like I said, if it's not person this could be a job a co-worker something of this nature take it how it resonates um i'm going off of love right now because it really feels like a love situation it could even be a friend um it almost feels though it does feel like a tease though um i think this is going to resonate with the tease area is really going to might resonate with men a little bit more because it does feel like maybe she walks in and she flaunts herself and she says come on let's go and then two hours later you're ready to go and Oh, I'm sorry, I have to go to work. Or, you know what I'm saying? And so it feels like this pull away kind of a behavior. Um, it could be a man as well. You could be trying to get close to them and they kind of tease you and then they pull away. Like, that's what teasing is. Um, 
Yeah. And you're getting aware of this. And if this is something, this is like fighting and you're so aware of this behavior. Um, and it feels like you just want them to propose their love. You want them to get closer to you. You want this opportunity. Um, and it's, this is toxic. This is toxic. Toxic and it's an obstacle. If they're making themselves an obstacle and challenge by keep teasing you and trying to just, you know, offer the sword and then take it away um, with the devil energy. Yeah. And all you want is the ace of wands with this person, this job, this opportunity. If they're offering you this job and they say, come in this day. And then all of a sudden it's like, nope, sorry. That would still be kind of a tease though, you guys, because that would say that, no, I went ahead and gave it to Kathy. Kathy's going to take over that day for you. Uh, it's like, oh, really? Well, I wrote it down as coming in that day. So they teased you with money. They teased you with work. And then they gave it away to someone else. So take that how it resonates. You just want what you want, though. You want the growth. You want the growth within this environment or within this relationship. Because you don't feel like you're going to ever be able to put your foot through the door if they keep giving it to Kathy. I have no idea why that name came up, but it doesn't matter. Right? That's what I heard. That's what I'm saying. So maybe somebody knows Kathy. I don't know. The whole point is, is it just feels like you can't get your foot through the door because they keep teasing you with days to work. They keep te or hours to work. Um, maybe they send you to work and then they're like, okay, it's time for you to go home. We don't have enough customers. Kathy's going to take over. And you're like, wow, you told me I was working for, you know, six hours today and I'm only working, I'm only working four. So however it is. With the Two of Pentacles, you're really juggling the ideas of what is what is it. Um, if it's a relationship, you're trying to figure out where the passion is really with this person. Is there any passion? You want the passion with them. You want them to come close to you, but you don't know where you stand with the Two of Pentacles. What direction do I go in? And for others of you with work, it's the same thing. You don't know exactly where to go. Should I get a new job? You know, should I stay? I don't know what I should do. There, yeah, it's getting to the point where I'm so sorry I have to bring this up, you know, because I mean, it's Tara, we're adults here, guys, but there's no sexual activity. And that's where it might be feeling like the tease. Um, you know, you have the passion for this person. This person's not giving you any bedroom stuff, right? You don't. Do they think, you know, are they going to do this? Or are they just going to, I just got that, tease me, please me, right? You're going to tease me or are you going to please me? Um, you know, and it's just like that. And the same with the job though, too. It's almost like you got the doors open. It's like you, you get, they tell you you're going to work this much. And once again, here you go. As soon as you start feeling the passion for the job, they start doing that crap again in the near future. And now it even feels like in the near future, you're just up in arms going, I don't, I don't think I should stay here because they're not going to, maybe they told you it'll be better in the near future. Don't worry about it. We're just a little slow, but yet you're still seeing the same behavior. Now with the eight of cups, a lot of you are going to walk away because you don't see any proposal. You don't see this cup coming towards you. What you want so bad is not happening. And when it does happen, it's that tease me thing. So it's like it gets you all giddy inside and so happy. Like, woo, I'm going to work for six hours a day. God, I hope they don't send me home. He said he wasn't going to. And then he does. Or we're going to go out and do this. Woo, woo, woo. And then he calls and says, oh, I'm sorry, I got to go to work. So however it is, it's a tease. So, you know. Yeah. There is no moving forward towards this with the Ace of Coins, with the Inference. The Inference is literally showing that there is not enough. There's not enough nurturing. There's not enough love from this person for them to give you the passion that you're looking for, um, to give you anything. The Ace of Coins. So you have to come to the conclusion with the with it, the devil over here. What is the devil standing for? I mean, because you got to figure if they're just teasing you and it's there's lust there, it's, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense because usually if you have a devil there and you have lust, they usually want to use the situation, right? Not pull away from it. What? 
Yeah, because I mean, that's what human nature says. If they're using you for less, then that means that they only want you here. But they keep pulling you away from here. And you're like, hey, I want love and I want this and I want that, but you're not giving anything. It's just, maybe they have insecurities. I don't know, guys. I don't really know on that one because there's so many different things we could pull cards, but that's not going to get down to the, to the, um, for a general reading, it's not going to get down to your person, right? Because it could be this, it could be that, it could be that. Uh, maybe they're scared um, to love. Maybe they're scared to get that involved. It could be hurt. It could be insecure. This, that, the other. Uh, which I just heard they could be a virgin. Hey, watch that one, right? And that could be a huge possibility. Um, I'm just saying, right? And for others of you with work, the only reason that they're doing this is because they think, you know, you're too fresh, you're too new, um, Kathy can do it better. And it just feels like they're not giving you the ace of coins that you want and they're not giving you the opportunity to show your worth, right? Show what you're worth. So you're not getting the prosperities no matter what, my friends, with the inference. And I love the inference here because it's going to show that love, nurturing, money, prosperity. So it definitely could be a job or love. So that was like the perfect card that they could use to uh, bring out both situations. Um, but however it is, it's not getting your ace of coins at all. What you want. Hmm. It's not because it's not going to move towards what you're looking for. Okay. Let's see what the angels have to say. That's, you know, I don't, talking about just like literally too. I mean, I'm not just talking about, you know, the SEX over here. Guys. I'm talking about like not even a kiss goodnight, not even the hug, like totally, you know, pushing you away. You know what I'm saying? A tease. Um, even teasing you could be just something of that nature. It doesn't have to be the whole enchilada. Okay. I'm not talking about, it doesn't have to be that. I just mean like, what about that good night hug and kiss? We've been dating for three months and you haven't even given me a kiss yet. What? That's, yeah, it's a little, un, it's a little unnatural, but it does happen, so. For some of you, it does feel like your person does need some kind of recovery. Um, it could be something that was toxic that happened in a past relationship, and this is why they keep pulling away from you and not allowing them, you to get intimate with them. And I'm, like I said, whether it's hugging, kissing, however you want to take it, okay? Um, look for the signs, though, because there might be signs that they're already showing that maybe you're dismissing of that, um, you know, I don't like to be touched much. Then you'd be like, you know, it's almost to the point where it'd be like, why? You know, but then it's like, you don't want to ask those questions, right? You're like, oh, I don't really want to go. Why? Right? Because they might not want to tell me or it could be horrifying. Um, you need to take action though and figure out what it is you want. Because if this is a situation that you can't get past, my friends, literally, if this is something that is too much for you, then you're going to have to probably pull away from the relationship and find someone else if you cannot, um, feel like you could be there to wait for them to heal, wait for them to recover. So it's going to really be on you whether or not, um, you know, okay. Because yeah, they definitely need some helpful people. Um, and that's going to be for everyone. Even your job needs helpful people, but it feels like they already feel like they have the helpful people that they need. So why, why are you there? So for a lot of you, if you're just going to leave the person, just forgive the person and just move on. Okay. Because it might be something that's deeper than something you can deal with. And it, you know, it, it's, it just could be one of those things that maybe it's not good for you. Okay. And so we'll just put that here. Okay. And that's it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.